Welcome everyone to My AI Live, My AI Live. We do this every Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific. And we actually teach you how to become a master at follow-up. We And a really, we help you become a master at social media. So here's the thing about social media. It's a great tool to use for your business. However, most people do not know how to utilize it correctly. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you exactly how to utilize and work social media using the My AI platform. The My AI platform is going to help write your social media, help you answer questions, help you have conversations that actually move the needle on your business. So why do we do this meeting every Monday through Friday? Well, actually, on the now site side, you guys have just started seeing this. However, there's a group of us here who have been doing this together for years. And we have found that the consistency has helped us grow our businesses and really become leaders in our industries. And so we're going to help you with that today. So first of all, thank you. If you are brand new, make sure you put that one in the chat for me the one in the chat, so I know who our brand new people are. If you are a, a, have been here before, I want to see some fives and I want to see some sevens. Fives and sevens for all of the people who have been here. Now, fives are for if you've been here. Seven is if you've learned something that has actually helped you. That is exciting. I want to make sure that we have all of those people recognized like Sean and fantastic. What was that? Okay, we're gonna, let's not put things in the chat with your own personal links. That's, that's not, let's not do that. Okay. All right, perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started today and we're gonna start by, and so the brand new people know what we're doing. We're going to start off with a demo of the NowSite system of the My AI part of it. Now, we cover just the May, My AI part. If you have questions about websites, email campaigns, and all of that, that's Cheryl over on Tuesdays and Wednesdays at NowSite.online, and hers are at 12 noon Eastern time, 9 a.m. Pacific. This is for the My AI part. So we're going to start with the demo of the My AI uh, part of the system. We do a different demo every single day. So every day is different and we show you different ways of utilizing this for your social media. Now with that, we're going to, after that, set up a five minute timer. We have found that if we help you get into action, you will actually utilize what we've taught you. Here's the thing, we all know we go to events, we go to this, we, we learn all this great stuff, but unless we put it into action, it doesn't do us much good, right? So we're going to help you put it into action during the five minutes. So we're going to have you go out and do a post or two or three or four yourself. Now, after that, when you come back, we're going to showcase some of those posts. We showcase for a couple of reasons. First, we want to be able to answer your questions. You know, maybe you did a post and you're like, how do I make this better? Is there something else that I need to do or things like that? Secondly, it also gives the other members ideas on how to do social media because what you're doing may be different than what they're thinking about. And when we're, and when we're together and doing this, we are all learning together. And that's super important. So after that, we'll have some time for some Q&A and then we'll get you out of here. And again, we do this every Monday through Friday so we can help you become that master of social media. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. And uh, we're going to go over to the NowSite platform. Now, when you first sign up, you're going to go to now.site. Now.site. And when you log in, this is what you're going to see. Now, within my AI program, you are actually going to train your AI. And it's going to train you for a couple of different things. It's going to get your job title. It's going to ask you five different questions at the beginning. And you can always add to this later. So I always want to make sure that you understand that you can always add to this. You can always change it. You can always um, update it. So it's the most available information for the AI to work with in building your social media posts. So job title, what drew you to this role, family, background, stuff like that interests, things like what is most important to you, 
personal development for me, traveling, rewiring the brain, healthy eating, goal setting and achievement, uh, boundaries, um, strength training, all of those popular figures that I like. It's going to ask you that favorite books and sports and then write like me. It's going to add fine tune your writing style. How much humor do you like? Do you like a lot of emojis? Do you like, you know, to be more formal, informal length, like it long, like it short. Do you love the dramatic capitalization? Like for me? Oh yeah. Love it. And then tone. Do you want it to be friendly or do you want to be the expert? Now, here's the thing at any time with your AI is not making, not sounding like you come in here under write like me and make those adjustments in here. Little tweaks here will make a big difference in the way it writes and sounds like you. Last part here is branding. What your slogan is, um, you know, your story, personality analysis. It's going to give you all these wonderful things as well. So once you have all that done, you, we're going to get ready to post on social media. And so we're going to go ahead and click on post. Now, with that, we have caption and suggested image. Let me get one. Got a little bit of feedback here. So give me just a second so I can get that feedback off there. Okay, perfect. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so when we do this, we have a couple of different options here to choose from each day. So each day you could do something completely different. So first you've got caption and suggested image. Caption and suggested image is when you know what you want to write about and you don't have a photo to go with it or an image to go with it. You know what you want to write about. You don't have a photo or image to go with it. Number two, caption my image is when you know what you want to write about and you have the photo to go with it. So we were just recently at GoPro. You, we want to make sure that with GoPro, we're, of course, showcasing what we've learned, people that we've connected with, things like that. And so you may have a lot of photos from that. You may have photos that, you know, from the dinner you made or friends going out or maybe a selfie, you know, you, you bought yourself a new pair of shoes or whatever it is. Maybe it's a business thing, like you have a photo of the people that you um, helped raised up in the business and they hit a new rank or they got an achievement and you want to showcase them. Regardless of what the image is, as long as you have your image, you're going to describe what your image is and then you're going to write what you want the caption to be about. Describe your image and what you want the caption to be about. Now, remember, you never put the photo in here. You never put the photo in here. You only tell the AI what the photo is about and then what you want the caption to be about. Now, same thing with caption my video. You're going to describe your video. You're not going to put the video in here and you're, you're going to say what you want the caption to be about. Maybe you're doing a reel. Maybe you're doing a YouTube. Maybe you're just doing a regular video. Whatever the case may be, you want to do that. Now, short text only post. Short text only posts are fantastic. Those are those colored background posts. I'll show you one here. Let's see. I'm going to go over to my page right here, my Facebook page, and these right here. These are great for starting quick conversations. So conversations, you know, back and forth, very easy. What's for dinner, tacos or burritos, went to GoPro, what was your biggest thing you learned, any of those kinds of things. These are very easy to start quick conversations. And remember, everything about posting on social media, you're not posting on social media so everybody goes, look at me, look at me. It's really not the purpose of it. Uh, it, I mean, social media will teach you and say that, oh, that's why you want to do this. But actually, what you're wanting to do is start conversations. Everything is about relationships and conversations. And so the conversations you want to do, you're going to go and post this, ask a question, and through the comments, people will comment, and then you'll comment back to them. Starting that conversation in the comments, take it over to Facebook Messenger, and then from Facebook Messenger, you're going to um, take it to a phone call, a Zoom, a FaceTime, whatever that is. So you have that real conversation that's actually going to move the needle on your business. So now the last thing over here is long post and suggested image. They should have just called this the Elizabeth button. 
Adrian calls me war and peace because I love a lot of words. These are one of some of my favorites, the long posts. Now, long posts are great for Facebook and for uh, LinkedIn. They're great for Facebook and for LinkedIn. But they are not great for Twitter, obviously, because Twitter is 138 characters or X, as they're calling it now. Um, and then it's also not great for Instagram. So if you want to do a long post, this is where you can give a lot of value and showcase yourself as different than other people. You know, you could do three tips to better health, three tips to better budgeting through the holidays, you know, three tips to something or pick a specific subject and say, write a subject, write something about this. Now, the other thing that's really neat about this long post and suggested image is you can actually use this as a starter for a blog if you write blogs on your website. So if you're somebody who likes to make blogs, you could do a long post and suggested image to start out that blog and then put, add some of your own things in there as well. Last but not least is the surprise me button. The surprise me button is a lot of fun. This is, a, this is one of my favorites. And it's something that I teach people to utilize often because so many times we're not inspired. We wake up, maybe we didn't get enough sleep, maybe we're whatever, we've got stuff going on and we're just not inspired at all. And so, but we know we need to post on social media because here's the thing, if we're not consistent, we're not going to show up the same on social media in the algorithms. We're also not going to showcase ourselves as somebody who's there and ready to serve and help people. So somebody else may get the business instead of us. So with that surprise me button, you're going to click on surprise me and it's going to give you a post. Now, here's the cool thing. If Cheryl Clo clicks on surprise me and I click on surprise me, it's going to be different than if Mary Jackson does. It's going to be different than if Joseph does. It's going to be different as Carl does because it's actually utilizing and the AI has learned all about us and what we want to post about. So I'm gonna go ahead and today click on the surprise me button for our brand new people. Because when you're brand new, a lot of times you don't know what you wanna post and you know you do need to post. Now tomorrow we're gonna to showcase some business posts and some things like that. And today I wanna to do the surprise me for our brand new people that are here with us. And so with the surprise me button, what it's doing right now once you click on that is the AI is going through everything I've told it all of that information of what's important to me, what my interests are and everything like that. And then it is, as it's working through that, it is going and um, learning all the posts that it's already made of me, with me and for me, it's actually going through those as well. So each time you utilize the AI, it's actually learning more and more about you. And the great thing about this is that's why it takes a little bit different because it's not just the, like the things out there that's just spitting out something. It's actually doing this based on you. So let's see what it gave me. Dare to dream big, my friends. Every gargantuan achievement began as a teeny seed of ambition. From transforming fear into power, I can attest that each step forward brings you closer to controlling your destiny. Pursue your goals with fever and the world becomes your oyster. Aim for the stars and make every action count. Who is ready to conquer their dreams? Dream big, goal setting, transformation journey. Sounds exactly like me, right? Now, but let's go over to LinkedIn. Let's see how different the post is over there. In a world where only the only constant is change, the transmutation of dreams into reality is not just a possibility, it's an imperative. As a personal transformation advocate, I'm with, I witnessed the power of steadfast determination and laser focus goals. Today, challenge yourself, define your aspirations and create the blueprint for your own success. Are you prepared to elevate your aspirations to tangible outcomes? Now, if we go over to Instagram, it's going to sound completely different than LinkedIn, right? Because it's writing for a different platform of people. So on Instagram, chase your dreams like they're the last bus of the night. Every goal starts with the courage to pursue it. I faced my dragons, turning fears into triumphs. Now it's your turn. Set those sights high and take the leap. Your future self will thank you. Let's get those dreams off the ground, one fearless stride at a time. Isn't that beautiful? Completely different though, right? And then if you go over to X, which is now used to be Twitter, 
Let's talk goals. I've turned insecurities into biggest my business strengths. So can you chart out those dreams, throw yourself into the fray and anchor your resolve. It's go time. We're ready to transform. Are you ready to transfer your dreams into reality? Lead the charge. Okay, so now for any of these platforms, the moment you like what you've seen and that you want to do, you're going to go and download those and then write like this. So you're going to click this button. I'm trying to get this thing off my screen. There we go. All right. And now we're going to post. When we post, it's going to open up the platform that you're posting to. And then you can go, let's talk goals. We've got that in there. Now I'm going to put my photo in there and click it open. And there. And then all I have to do is post. Now I've got two little words that are a little uh two things. So I am going to two characters off. So what I'm going to do is go like this and then like this. Perfect. Now a little off from the original, but that's okay. Now I'm going to click post. So when I post, boom, done. Very easy. Now here's the last thing. All I have to do is just go back over there and I can go and do the same thing over to LinkedIn and very easily click post and then be over at LinkedIn and make the same exact thing. So I can go like this and and then I'm actually posting the one for LinkedIn, not the one that was for Twitter, right? So I'm going to click, boom, done, and next, and boom. Now, that is what the AI is helping you do. The AI is helping you be able to actually post on multiple platforms very quickly. So today, what I want you to do is, of course, I want you to do a surprise post. Everybody is new. I want you to do a surprise post and see how different yours is. Now, if you want to do uh, some other type of post, do that as well. But I want you to at least do one surprise post so you actually see the difference and see how different yours looks compares to mine. So I'm going to go ahead and put up the five minute timer now. We're going to get started. In this five minutes, I want you to make your posts. Now, Joseph's driving, so we don't want Joseph posting while he's driving because we like it when Joseph's safe. But if you're not driving, we do want you to go ahead and do your post at this time. That's what the five minutes is for to get you into action. So let's go ahead and get you into action right now. And I will put up the timer. In five minutes, we'll come back. We'll showcase posts. Now, if you do want your post showcased, please raise your digital hand so I can call on you. And then and do it after you've made your post. And it has to be a post from today. I don't want posts from over the weekend or anything else because we need to be able to show how easy it is to post. And then so and then put the link in the URL, the website link to your Facebook or Instagram into the chat if you are not following me or friends with me already. So it's easier for us to find. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to share the timer and then we'll come back and we'll share some posts. All right. How did that go, everybody? Put a number in the chat for how many you did. So one for one, two, two, three for three, four, four, five, five, six for six. How many posts did you do? So Joe did one. Okay. Randy did one. Nina did one. Fantastic. Sean did three, it looks like. Uh, one for Keith, fantastic. Two for Dr. Brian, four for Ray, five for Nur Jahan, one for Kathy Mays, fantastic. Four for Sue, one for Kim, one for uh, Jimmy, fantastic. One for Cheryl, beautiful, fantastic. Um, Yeah. And and if you have an AI chat assistant, I, I don't have a problem with that, but um, don't post your links in the chat for your things, please. It's not appropriate. We want this to be a very safe place for people. So um, yeah, thanks. I have a couple of people saying, hey, this, this is happening. So 
uh we'll we'll get that fixed we'll 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 eventually get that blocked okay four for jim three for desmond two for charles one for eloise uh fantastic carl did four okay wonderful one for uzama one for Mary, one for Cindy. We are doing fabulous. Look at all those posts. Now, here's the thing. As long as you did one, you have won the day. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our sharing of our posts. Now, remember, this is, uh, and if you have questions, we take questions for the my AI part of this. Everything else is on Cheryl's part of that. So we're going to do the step three process. And let me show this to you super quick as we get going here, if I can. Oh, let me share screen. Boom. Okay. So remember, we post on social media first. Then we comment on people's posts. We take their message and we comment on there. We have a message type. We can comment on a social media post. We could start a conversation. We could also do cold outreach. Then the last part is reaching out to your followers, starting conversations, commenting on a social post, cold outreach. This is where you're going to get your birthday, your anniversary, your congratulations, your supportive and things like that on here. Now, you also have some other features in here where you can help me reply. And this is more of the Ray Higdon part of that. So if you click in here, you can do your conversations, friendly conversations, shift to business and things like that. You just simply put your conversation in here and then you do, and then it will help you with all of that. Now you can play with that one, but we're gonna cover some of the more my AI part of it, which is the social media part here. We can actually cover a little bit of that as well later if we have time. So, but first, let's go ahead and showcase our posts. Now, if you can put your link to your page, that would be awesome. Um, if not, that's okay. And Dr. Brian, did you want to share a post today? And is it on Facebook it or what? Chat what? Or I can, yeah, I'll put it in the chat for you right now. Yeah, the link, if you, if you want to share your posts, if you can put the link in the chat for me, it would be so much easier. Okay. So now we've got, we're over on LinkedIn today with Dr. Brian, and here we go. Okay. So throughout my, is this, was this a surprise me or was this, uh, okay, this was a surprise me post. Perfect. So throughout my career, there's been one piece of advice that's profoundly shaped my trajectory. Align your ambitions with your actions. This guidance has been fundamental as I navigate my path towards becoming a variable uh, key player. That's an interesting way. Of, okay. I I wouldn't, I, I don't think I would have wrote it that way, but it's interesting that the AI did write that that way. Is that your normal language? Brian? Uh, no. And I, I didn't realize it till after I just posted it. So yeah, okay. I have to be more careful to edit. I, and as you, in, uh, let me show you something about editing too. Okay. So let's network through wisdom. Commit, uh, comment with the most valuable advice you've received and how it's influenced your professional journey. Okay, so I love that. Now, here's the thing about editing, and I want to make sure everybody knows this. You can edit in the social media platform itself. However, if you come over here and you edit in here, let me just, you know, grab some posts right here. At the bottom of this, once there's post, once it's posted, you can write, you say editor. And when you, the button, when you click on editor, you're actually going to be able to edit within the AI. Now, if you edit within the AI, the AI starts learning more about your language and more about what you want and do not want. So some of the things that you can put in there for specific types of edits are rewrite this without the word and then put the word in there that doesn't sound like your language. I remember when I, for, uh, for what was it, like a week there? that it was utilizing um, some slang that I would never say, like ever say. And it, and I was really surprised where it came from. And so actually I started uh, using the editor to say, hey, remove this, remove this. And as it rewrote it, so here, are you letting your fear steal, uh, steal your life's wheel? Okay, so if let's say there's a word in here that you wouldn't like, so I'm not going to do it because I don't want to change it, but 
let's say you don't like this word right here, conquering for whatever reason. You click on the editor and specific instructions, you can say rewrite this without the word and then And then it will take out language that it does not that you don't want in there. So that's a great thing. You can also make it shorter, longer. You can change the tone and you can change the language in there as well. So thank you so much, Dr. Brian, for sharing today. I really appreciate that. Thanks. And I'm at work, so I got to run. I don't mean to post and run, but thanks. I'll try that's to be on here every morning. Really appreciate it. That's OK. You can post and run all you love and want. That's what we're here for. Thanks for being here. All right, now let's next go. Let's see what we've got here. And make sure you put the post in here. Keith in Las Vegas, where's your link? Um, I've been I've been having issues finding my link because um, I'm on my cell phone. But uh, okay. you are, are you on Facebook or are you doing it on Facebook? Uh, yeah, mine is Keith A. Davis. I think we went in before. Mm -hmm. You're friended with me. I, yeah. Let me see if I can find you real quick. Yeah, I'll have to, to find that and put, put it somewhere in my page or something. I, I, I can't. That's one thing I haven't been able to find. Okay. And your post is? It's, I'm, I'm, congrats, I'm, a, I'm a Raiders fan, but I am... I got uh -oh. a humbleism to congratulate the, uh, so you can read it. Okay. So was this a surprise post or was this an intentional post where it was you said? an intentional post because I, I'm, I'm uh, you know, I'm, I get a lot of uh, hate from the Dallas Cowboys. So they oh. want to be, so, uh, you know, this is sincere, a sincere post and sincere congratulations. You know, I got to tell you, people do love their football. It's uh, they get pretty passionate about it. I, I don't watch pro. I am a college uh, uh, fan, though, because of the Hawkeyes, which Michigan. Yeah, MJ, I know you're on here somewhere. I'm sure she is. <laughs> we're, we're great friends every day, but game day. OK, congratulations to all the Dallas Cowboys fans as a family oriented entrepreneur and grandfather of six. I know the importance of celebrating victories. Let's keep cheering for the team and inspiring each other to reach uh, new heights. That's really nice. Now, Keith, you don't like the Cowboys? No, I didn't say I didn't like the Cowboys. I said oh, okay. So you do like the Cowboys, but you're a Raiders fan. Well, let's 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 say it like this. I'm a Raiders fan and I congratulate any team that moves forward and and win. I I I'm very impressed with that. I'm not, I'm not a hater. I'm not a hater. Okay. All right. So not passionately against a team, but uh love your team and still congratulating the other teams. All right. Wonderful, Keith. I love that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, in so business. For... I'm in business because if i hate exactly I hate exactly that's true you know if you if you section out a group of people you lose a large part of uh people that you could actually create business opportunities with so very very important point thanks so much keith for sharing today you're welcome all right whoops there we go all right, let's go over to my friend, Ray. Hey, Ray. Good morning. And Keith, yeah, great job. That was a good pose, wasn't it? Ray Lorman, there you are, my coffee-loving friend. Yeah. All right, let me go ahead and get this post shared. All right. Was this a surprise post or did you add, do caption and suggested image? Surprise. Surprise post. Okay. As we journey through life's endeavors, it's our goals that propel us forward. I'm committing to aiding my team expand their customer base, aiming for an income that lifts them above their monthly dues. Let's cultivate a circle of success together. 
What are your strategies for surpassing your financial objectives this year? Share your insights and let's grow this and uh, grow together. I love this, Ray. And, and, and you know what's amazing? As a surprise post, everybody, I want you to see this. His is about increasing income for people and increasing opportunity. Mine was about gratitude. You see the big difference in there? It was still the same button. So whatever you write about most is what is going to show up. However, one thing to remember is with that surprise me post here, if you don't like that post, you can always click generate and it will give you a different post. So if you click surprise me again, it will give you a different post. So a fun thing for you guys to do today would be just click surprise me a couple of different times and just see what it is, you know, that comes up for you. So Ray, thank you so much for this awesome post. I appreciate it. I really love this. Well, I, I like the small plant too. You know, we all have to start someplace. Yes. And then, and then let's grow. Exactly. Exactly. That is so true. That is the perfect message for today. Thanks, Ray. Yep. All right. Let's go ahead. And now we are going to go over to Sue. Hi, Sue. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thank you. Lovely to be here. Yay. I'm so excited. Okay. Let me grab. I think you put your link in the chat, right? I hope I did. Um, I just copied and pasted there it you from. Yeah, you found it? Yep, I found Excellent. it. Excellent. Perfect. All right. Now, was this a surprise me post or caption my and suggested image or what kind of post did you do? Oh, I love the surprise me. I've been working on this for the past week and I just love the surprise me. It's always a good one. And I was able to, in the five minutes, post it over all four platforms. I love it. I love Major. it. Okay. So let's talk about one of my goals, guys. I have this profound desire to assist others in attaining their goals and dreams. It's such a fulfilling feeling to be able to contribute to someone's success. Tell me, what's your biggest dream? Share it with me in the comments below and let's cheer, cheer each other on. Love, love, love this. Love mm -hmm. this. Love the photo too, because what, what does that show? It shows togetherness, camaraderie, support. That's really the message behind the photo that it gave you. Most definitely. And nature, too. I do find when you're in nature, you have a better connection, it seems, whether it's with nature itself or others. So thank you, AI, for generating this picture. Mm, absolutely <laughs> love this. This is perfect. Thank you so much for sharing today. Thank you. All right. Let's go over. I'm so happy to work on multiple screens today. Let's go to Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl. Can you get unmuted there? Yep. There yeah. you are. Hi there. So Hi did there. you did you do a surprise me post today or what kind of post did you do? I did a surprise me post. Beautiful. Okay. Just finished a thought provoking chapter from the seven habits of highly effective people and was struck by this gem. I am not a product of my circumstances. I am a product of my decisions. It reminds me of the power we hold in shaping our destiny. Decide to make a positive change today. What do you have scheduled for today or the week? Please comment below. I love this. So let me, first of all, I want everybody to see, do you guys see the difference in the surprise me's? How dramatically different they are. Like last week, I think it was, Carl did a surprise me and talked about his military background. The AI wouldn't give me military background because I don't have a military background, right? So it's going to be different for each and every one of us. So let's see. Seven habits. I am not a product of my circumstances. I'm a product of my decisions. It reminds me of the power we hold in shaping our, our destiny. Decide to make a positive change. What do you have scheduled for today or for the week? Um... You know, that's one question. Another question might be for this kind of post would be uh, taking a word out of where it is and asking a question about it. I am a product of my decisions. A great question would be, 
What decisions are you making today for a better future? Post down below and let me celebrate those decisions with you. Something to that effect. Um, just another idea on being able to do a question, Cheryl. Okay, thank you. Awesome, great post. Thanks so much for sharing. Thank you. All righty. Now, real quick, does anybody have any questions? I wanna make sure to get questions. Mary, did you have a question or did you wanna share a post? Yes, I have a question. I would like to know how to um, put the link in the chat. And that's another Perfect. problem I'm having. The phone keep ringing for Messenger. It's crazy. Yeah, isn't that funny how that happens? I, 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 and there's a way to turn that off, and I don't remember what it was. Um, Please, when you find out, let me know. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Let's go in and show you the questions first, or show you the how to do this real quick. Um, okay, so when we are over here, the way you share your link is so I'm going to come over to my page. Right up here, this link, facebook.com forward slash E transforms you. That is my handle. Same for all of my social medias. I've got myself branded in one way all across. So everybody knows it's the official uh, social media page. So you just take this, you highlight it, you copy it, and then, oops, and then you're going to go and paste it into the chat. So you're just going to go into the chat in Zoom and paste it there. Now, can you see the chat, Mary, for the Zoom chat? Oh, let's try this again. She got unmuted again. Okay, you say, do I see the chat? The Zoom chat. Okay, well, I'm on my phone right, right now, so I can... But on the screen, do you see the Zoom chat right now? I do. So do you see the link that I put in there? I do. Okay, so that's what it's going to ultimately look like. It's going to be Facebook.com or Instagram.com or LinkedIn.com or Twitter or whatever they're calling it these days. And then your handle on the end of it is ultimately what you're going to get. Okay, well, I'm going to try that next time, see if I can pull it up. All right. Thank you. Sounds good. Great. Okay. I've got just a few more minutes. Um, Nina, I'm going to try to get to your post, but I want to make sure that I get these questions done also. Nina's our favorite hairdresser out of Los Angeles, California, and uh, always has amazing posts. Um, let's see. Can you show how to pull in the text for a post from Facebook? It was rather seamless. Yeah, it is rather seamless. So the moment that you actually just click on this button right when you once you click on get started all of this um actually just copies to the clipboard on your computer so once you do that you are just going to go over to facebook and then just paste and then all of the wording is right there and so you're just going to hit paste Boom, done. So very seamless, pretty easy. And that's the way it works on all of those posts. Uh, let's see. Are these trainings recorded for the days we miss? Yes, Cindy, they absolutely are. If you go over to the official now site corporate page, uh, corporate group on Facebook, we go live there every day, uh, Monday through Friday. And that, and you'll be able to... Um, you'll be able to get all of the replays there. Kristen, how do you retrain your AI? Okay, so there's times when you first start working with it that it may not sound exactly like you. I've had that happen myself. So when that happens, you're gonna come over here to where it says AI on the left-hand side, the little circle with the AI, and then you're gonna go to train my AI. Now, one of the easiest ways to get it and tweak it so it sounds more like you is to come over here to the right like me and then change this. So mine, I had it more informal because I'm actually a really informal person. But then it started using some weird slang and some words that I would never say. Like Carl would see these and be like, mm, no, that's not Elizabeth. Because <laughs> you know, I don't use those words. 
And so I actually had to take this and make it a little bit more formal by uh, drawing this over. And then mine actually started getting a little too long. And for those of you who know me, that's got to say a lot because I love long posts, right? But so I had to bring it back and shorten it a little bit. And then I actually had to make it more of an expert tone than a friendly tone because, again, it didn't really sound like me. So this is one of the best ways to tweak it so it starts sounding more like you. Now, if it's saying things that really aren't you at all, make sure that you have your interests correct in here or add more interests or add more figures that actually relate to you, books or sports or anything else that are more like you. And then learn about me. Put some information in there about your family, background, heritage, what goals you have, and the goals and dreams that you have here. Then once you do all that, hit save, and it will actually help you, and it will uh, you can actually retrain your AI to make that sound more and more like you. Okay. Um, okay, and then Lisa, Lisa? I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but I do want to make sure that I show you how to change the graphic on here. So once you are actually in here and you get the graphic, to change the graphic, there's going to be a little change button. Now, honestly, the button could be a little clearer. I mean, it, it really could be. But I want to make sure to show you and answer this so you guys know how to change that. And... So give me just a second, let this get post come up. All right. Ever found yourself grappling with fear? And then there's this photo. Okay, well, Lisa, it, it, it's funny because I don't like this photo, right? Like that, Kathy, Kathy Mays, this is not something I would ever post, right? Like, okay, so let's change the image. Now, you've got your images right here. These are images that you've used before. And if you don't have anything here, that's okay. If this is blank, that just means you haven't really used any images before. So that's fine. What you can do is come over. You can do AI image search, but honestly, I like regular image search. And so let's say I want to find happy people. Because happy people is always a great, like, this this is a happy thing. This, oh, this is adorable, you know. Uh, this is funny. This would actually stop the newsfeed because it's hilarious and people would be like, what the heck? And then they would actually read this. So if you're trying to get somebody to stop, stop the scroll, which is ultimately what we're doing with our post. Our post, we're trying to get somebody to stop the scroll, read our post, comment on the post so we can start interacting with them. That you know, Those are the steps, right? So that would actually be a showstopper. Uh, the little girl right here would be a showstopper. Um, and so look at, for photos that, would, and think to yourself, would this photo make me stop scrolling and look and read it? So that one could, uh, so lots of different things. So all you have to do is choose a photo. And then right here, you're gonna click edit image. Now, I know that's not super clear, but it, it, it should just be use, but it's edit image, and then you just click add, all right? And now you've got a different photo, and then you just click get started and do the rest of the steps. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Okay, um, Charles or Edwina, did either one of you have questions? Or did you want to showcase posts? Edwina had Edwina had a uh, question. Okay, I'm going to go to Edwina. Then I'm going to showcase Nina's post, and then we're going to get out of here. Um, and you then actually, you actually answered it. That was my question. I was trying. I found this great image on the surprise me, but I could never get it to do anything. So the steps that you just gave that was my question. Thank you so much. Fantastic. That makes me so happy. Okay, wonderful. All right, let me showcase Nina's post real quick because she always has such great posts. And then we're going to wrap up. Now, if you did not get your questions answered today or you just want to learn how to become an expert in social media, come back tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific as well. Let me go ahead and get over to Nina's post right here. And it, it's the one on Facebook. 
It's the one on Facebook. Okay. Well, my Facebook is not coming up. Come back, come back, come back. Let's try this. There we go. All right. Here we go. Magical Monday. <laughs> Magical Monday. I like that. Okay. Let's come over here. We're going to go find Nina. All right. Oh, come back. All right. Was this a uh was this a surprise me post? That was the surprise me and I added asking the question about the the person reading it. Okay. Hi everyone, Magical Monday. Today I'm inspired to help you pursue your dreams and goals. As a hairstylist for the entertainment industry, I've seen firsthand how powerful it is to connect with people through their hair and help them express themselves. It all started with a recommendation from a neighbor, and now I get to live my passion every day. Woo! Love that. So remember, no dream is too big or too small. Embrace your ambitions, take the plunge, and chase whatever sets your soul on fire. What's your magical hairstyle for the holidays? Share in the comments below. Let's make this happen. I love this. Nina, this is fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Love the picture too. All right, everybody, I've got a hard stop. I got to give this over to the other team. So remember, uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we answer questions about the websites, email campaigns, all of the other features of the NowSite platform. And you can go to nowsite.online for those. Remember, we do My AI Live every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific. And please, if you haven't followed or friend me, friend me. I'd love you to friend me on Facebook. Uh, Get, connect with me on Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever your pre preferred platform is. I'm most active on Facebook, but um, make sure you friend me. And if you want to follow me, you can follow too, but I like friends. So have a great day, everyone. I love you all. I will see you tomorrow for my AI live. Have a great day, everyone. Love you. Bye everyone.